Hi, and this is Group 10's uh, design challenge for Module 6. So, after Scott gives food supplies to his brother Jax in the last episode, he decides to not pick up the chicken and buffalo sauce. He then sends Ted and Erica, the business's two shift supervisors, to the store to go pick up the products. Ted and Erica are getting fed up with having to pick up the slack for Scott and his poor management capabilities. On the way to the store, they begin to discuss how they could talk Rick, the uh, district manager, into making a flatter organizational structure so they could operate with more authority and not have to listen to Scott. Little do they know that Scott is back at the restaurant in a meeting with Rick. During the meeting, Scott brings up that Ted and Erica's absence from the restaurant wasn't sanctioned by him, and he had no idea where they were. He then goes on to say that no one's listening to him, and suggests that Rick should change the organization to a more centralized organization, so that he can make more decisions regarding the restaurant during Rick's often absences. They discuss the advantages of having a matrix structure, composed of both functional and consumer-a-customer structures. It would give Scott even more decision-making authority. The organization would be better coordinated, and it could lead to a better understanding of what customers are looking for in the restaurant. Now, when Ted and Erica return with the supplies, Rick, not noticing that they're carrying supplies, tells them about the conversation he had with Scott and announces he will be creating a taller organizational structure, meaning Scott will be at the top of the line of authority. Ted and Erica are both rather enraged about the decision. Erica doesn't really think that there is anything that they can do, but Ted, on the other hand, thinks that he could probably tell Rick everything and try to create the decentralized organization that both he and Erica want. <laughs> 